Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, Emily. I, I, I don't know what happened there. It's just ridiculous. Um, let me just uh, get this up on YouTube so I can see your comments properly. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, dear. What a waste of time. Yeah, I think it's because when I uh, scheduled the stream, I must not have pressed horizontal. It must have stayed on vertical. And I couldn't find anywhere in the settings for that stream how to change that it's something that you can apparently only do at the time of setting up and scheduling the stream oh dear me <laughs> so i need to remember that when i next schedule a stream that's a big thing that i've got to do at that point of scheduling it is to make sure that it's on horizontal because there's no way of doing it afterwards oh dear hello everyone <laughs> What a day. I'm glad you can all hear me and see me. So thank goodness I've figured it out in the end. How ridiculous though, that you can't change things like that in the settings afterwards. Because there's so many different advanced settings for it, but not one to change the orientation that I could find anyway. So hello everyone. I hope that you've all made it across from the other stream. Um, yeah, let's just have a minute and, and chill out and then we can start. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Hi, Heather. Hello, everybody. I'll try and go through everybody's name, but hello, everybody who's joined. Thank you for following me over and muck about, mucking about with me. Yeah, it's hard to change once you're live. I'm always paranoid about double checking my latency. What, what does latency mean? Good job, Claire. Deep breath. <laughs> Deep breaths. Yes, thank you. Oh dear. Anyways. Yeah, it's silly because I thought that it meant that I had to change the orientation of my iPad because it wasn't the right way, but it was. I don't know. Thank you, Jeanette. Just got them done today. I went with my grandma. We usually go together to get them done. I thought I'd go for black with little bits of sparkles in. I don't know how well you can see it. Right then, so I suppose we better get started colouring because we've had a 20 minute loss now. Um, oh, lag on video latency might be wrong. Yeah, it could be that. I feel like I recognise the word, but I can't remember what it means. I think my brain's just all over the shop. Right, so I hope everyone's had a nice week and a good Easter. Emily says on the dashboard, adjust the delay between myself and chat. Oh, I see. Yeah, because you do your games, of course. Yeah. I don't know. You're you're far ahead of me in this, Emily. <laughs> but at least we've done it. We've done it. And thank you, Barbara, as well, for your help. Today, I've just won a massage in a beauty institute. Oh, my goodness. Was that a competition that you entered then? Or like, how does that work? Basically, it's the time delay between when I say something and chat hears it. Yeah, like the lag. I didn't even know you could change that, actually, because I know that there's a lag on mine because I can see it on the screen in front of me that it's not caught up. Instagram giveaway. Well done, Barbara. That's amazing. I've, I've only had a massage once, I think, and the next day I could barely walk. I don't know what they did to me. It must have been like a deep, deep muscle tissue massage or something, but... <laughs> It wasn't relaxing, put it that way. Right, I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to get colour in. So we're on the shoe. And I think last time I left off on the mid-tone colour. I think I did all of the, the mid-tone. So I'm going to go straight for the lighter tone in the blue trio, which is Forget Me Not Blue, number 326. And we are using the Holbein pencils. So let's go. <laughs> They've tortured you, yeah. It was it felt like blooming torture. So all I'm doing with this is continuing on from the mid-tone blue that I put down and bringing it out into the white a bit more so that we've got less white on the page. I might still leave a little bit of white because I like to do that. It just gives it a crisper, deeper contrast. I've got a hot stone massage and cryogenic facial booked. Well, they say from the kids never had it, so I should report back. Yeah, if you're not frozen somewhere. <laughs> Bloody cryogenic. 
<laughs> I thought that was where they froze you, like, so that you could be, you could be like born again in a few years time. <laughs> Yeah, the whole binds are lovely pencils. Also got a Reiki session. I've never had that. Never had anything like that. Is that like healing the energies around you? I think, I think it's something like that. I might put a book under here because I'm right at the end of the book with this page and it's been a bit floppy. So I'll put a book behind it. So our clocks went forward for springtime on Saturday just gone. And I've been a bit all over the shop since then because I keep waking up late thinking that it's earlier than it is and... I keep thinking it's earlier than it is at night. So I look at the clock and it's like 8 p.m. and not dark. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> I think they should stop it, you know, because it's it's just silly, really, why we have to do this twice a year. Use some sort of cold therapy. Said to Tom and he was like, what, are they going to freeze you for years and bring you... Exactly, that's what I thought. Yes, Reiki is chakra and energy healing. I, pro I could probably do with some of that, to be honest, Laura. don't have daylight savings in Belize well good I, I wish you I wish we didn't it's rubbish can't do massages anymore too embarrassed about how fat I am oh Janet don't be silly please I'm sure that you're not and even if that was the case like just go and get the blooming massage you know do the good do the nice things in life that bring you comfort and joy and don't worry about what you look like I've learned that Because you'll look back and you wish that you did it, you know. It's upset my cat's sleep routine. <laughs> Sas, all right, let me try and pronounce this, Christian. Saska. Saskatchewan. Sus hang on. Sask Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan? <laughs> On Easter Monday, I thought it was Sunday, yeah. It's so weird, wasn't it? Jeanette, I'm a big, bigger girl. I've learned not to care anymore. Don't let it hold me back. Exactly. Exactly. I used to worry a lot about it. I was talking to Laura about this the other day. I used to worry a lot about um, my looks, my weight, especially. And, you know, since I was poorly last year and it was that bad that I just couldn't function do anything in day-to-day -day life I was just lying there on the floor or on the bed just not wanting to be here anymore and all the time that I was going through that I was just thinking why did I ever spend so much time and energy worrying about how I blooming look you know I'd rather I'd rather be fat and healthy and happy than um than skinny and not being able to eat anything and feeling like that horrific all the time but I do know where you're coming from because I've struggled with that myself. Since I've been poorly, I've put so much on. Yeah, and you do, you know, these things... Your life's full of ups and downs, isn't it? It's not... You can't stay the same forever. You know, you're going to have things happen to you. You might be on certain medications that do it, like the one I'm on at the minute. That does cause weight gain. But I've just... I've given up worrying about it because as long as I'm not feeling that horrific as I was before then I don't need to worry about anything Saskatchewan 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 one Saskatchewan <laughs> where is that Saskatchewan hello hello welcome for join welcome for joining Welcome and thanks for joining. Lockdown did it for me, I ballooned, yeah. Yeah, 
because all we had to do was just sit down and watch Tiger King or sit on TikTok <laughs> all day. Oh, Tiger King was brilliant. Did everybody watch that during uh, COVID? Yes, yes, uh, Sarah. Sorry about that. I didn't know if it'd be. I didn't know it'd be triggering for anybody. As long as I'm with people who want to be with me, then I don't care how I look happy and healthy. Hello, Angela. <laughs> Still think Carol did it yet. <laughs> she definitely did. She definitely did. I agree, Zoe. <laughs> yeah, do you remember the TikTok dance that they did for that song? I don't think I ever did the dance. But I definitely sang the song. I do apologise, Sarah. That I don't always um, think before I speak. I think for the past few lives I've said something that's offended somebody and I just... Uh, you just never know what you can say or can't say or how it's going to affect people. But now that you've said that, I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. So at the moment, River, we're just colouring in this shoe from Kirby Roseanne's Worlds Within Worlds. Started it last week. And I'm just doing the the rest of the blues that need doing on the shoe. Hopefully you can see that this bit is it's pretty much done now. Just need to put a bit in there. And I probably need a little bit under this flower petal as well. So I'm just coming back in now with the cobalt blue because I've missed some areas. Thank you so much, Gina and Angela. At the end of the day, you can't put a trigger on if everything, especially live streams, you can't control it. Comment, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking at this bit here, it's quite a large area of white, and the same down here as well. So I may just come here with the cobalt blue and do a little bit more shading just so we haven't got so much white to cover with the lightest blue. Three shades of blue are indigo blue number 460, cobalt blue 347 and forget-me-not blue 326. Yep, using Holbein's on this one as voted for by all of you. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, thank you, Zoe. Yes, using Holbein's. Got a massive colouring block at the moment. Can't seem to want to pick up a pencil and colour any tricks or ideas. Have you had a look on my website at the colouring challenges area? Because I created that especially for this situation where your colouring mojo kind of disappears. And it's all different ways that you can colour a page that you might not have done before, like pointillism and cross hatching or um coloring something in your favorite team colors or um the color of your country's flag things like there's all kinds of different things that you could try just to get yourself out of a rut and there's also the game that i created which is a uh, coloring roulette it's a free game you download it print it out and i've made lots of little cards i'll show you actually because i've got them here I've made lots of little cards that you print out and you choose 
from one of these cards. So th this is the prompts. So you would blind choose one of these and let's just say that you chose castle. That would mean that you'd have to colour something with castle. So it's taking all the decisions away from you. And that can be really freeing. It can also be quite scary because you're going out of your comfort zone. But you'd have to um you'd have to colour something with a castle. And then there's other cards for the colours that you have to use. Typically you choose five of these colours. And again, you do it blind, so it's a complete roulette, as the title says. And then after that, I've got ones that are different mediums, alcohol markers, fine liners, something you've never tried. There's loads of different ones. And then we've got the wild cards, which just put a whole different spin on it and they trump the rest of the cards. So if you choose, do decide to choose a wild card, it might completely change everything that's been chosen before. So this is colour the whole page using only one colour. Colour something in galaxy colours. Um, use Colour something using every single art supply that you have. Like the wild cards are wild. But um, it could be something to think about if you, like you say, you've, you've lost your mojo a bit and you don't know what to do. But it's cool. I, I did a video on it. You can go and find it, just colour and roulette, and I explain more in depth how it works. But yeah, it's a free PDF, you just print it off, cut all your cards out, and then just blind choose. And if you do do it, and you have got a channel, if you could hashtag it, colour and roulette, then I can find it, you see, because I love watching people's colour and roulettes. So yeah, it is, it's really fun, but it's like quite scary at the same time, because you don't know what you're going to get, but that's the whole point of it, you see, it's to take you out of your comfort zone. And then you know, you might end up doing something that you actually really like, but you never would have thought to do it on your own. So you could try those those things. Uh, oh, Jeanette, please don't be afraid to speak, honestly. Everyone, um, everyone should be able to talk on the chat and say what they need to say. So, you know... Don't, uh, don't worry about that. Yeah, it is. It's a good challenge. I think I've, I think I've done one or two so far. It's like I made it and I spent so much time making it and then I've been so busy I've not really had time to play it. Uh, yeah, so last week on the stream I started off by colouring all of the shaded areas that Kirby had drawn in with the indigo blue and then I sort of continued from the shading areas a bit more outward with the cobalt blue and now I'm filling in most of the white but leaving a little bit for contrast so that's where we're at at the moment Oh, thank you, Barbara's put a link there. There has been a few different channels that have done it and I've just really enjoyed watching them because it's like really satisfying to see other people enjoying something that you've made up. So yeah, if you do do it and you've got a channel, I'd love to see. Or even if you haven't got a channel and you just want to post the finished page on Instagram or something, just hashtag it and then I'll find it. Claire, how do you determine where to leave the page wide? Um... It's kind of the bits that are furthest away from any of the shade colours that I've put down. So, for example, um, this part here, I've got two areas of shade colour and then quite a large area where I've left it blank. So I would continue from the shade colours. So I'll just bring it out a little bit here until we've got a good patch of this particular blue showing. And I do the same on this bit. And then that kind of leaves you with white. You've sort of reduced it, reduced it down. And then I'll just do a bit of a hazy light pressure and leave the rest of it white. Sometimes I might want to add in like more shading if I think it's too much of a big area. You've just got to gauge it really what you think. So I'll just add a bit more cobalt blue in here. Thank you, Kim. 
With only one set of pencils, I sometimes use a random number generator to pick a random palette. These numbers are where the pencils are in my case. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea as well. I did something similar to that, but I did it with brands. Um, I think I did one video a day for 16 days and each one was randomly generated onto, as to what pencils that I would use on that day. Question for everyone, coffee or tea? Oh, tea every day of the week. I don't like coffee at all. I like the smell of coffee when it's brewing, but you can't beat a cup of tea. Oh, and, and milk, milk and milk and half half a spoon of sugar, just a very small bit of sugar. I don't really like a sweet tea. Salted caramel coffee, extra scoop of coffee as you like it strong. Two weakness, two weakness, two sweetness. <laughs> Iced decaf, salted caramel coffee. See, all the coffees sound really nice, but I just know I wouldn't like it. Coffee and Baileys. <laughs> Only water, I'm trying to get through my addiction to sugar. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. It's so hard though, everything's got sugar in. like a fruit tea as well have to say you know like berries and things like that raspberry tea Tell me, Emily, about how to do that latency thing, if it's possible to do it for me to do it on mine, because I'm really far behind. If it's Starbucks, have oat milk cookies and cream frap with hazelnut syrup. Ooh. I used to have one from Starbucks that tasted like um, milky bar chocolate. It was... Um, Vanilla, vanilla cream frappuccino, I think it was called. But I didn't have cream on top because I don't like cream. Yeah, you've done really, really well, Barbara, to do that, for sure. Um, I think this is a bit of shoe that I've missed down the side of this shop. So I'm going to get the indigo and colour that in. White chocolate frap, yeah, oh, really, really nice. But if anything tastes like Ferrero Rocher, that would be my absolute favourite. Or Nutella. So I think I've done um, with, the, with the light blue. What I'm probably going to do is come back in with the indigo and just look at where I've put some shading underneath these flowers because I want the shading to be a little bit more predominant so if I just add a bit of the indigo under this petal and then down here as well it might just give it the look of being raised a little bit Nutella cheesecake I don't like cheesecake though that's what my cookies and cream frap with hazelnut syrup. Oh, but has it got coffee? Is it got coffee in it though? Or can you have it without coffee? Tom's favourite is Ferrero Rocher shot coffee. <laughs> I think me, you, and Tom are like triplets. I mean, that'd be weird because you're married, but you know what I mean. But um, Ferrero Rocher's mm, absolute favourite chocolate ever. I love anything nutty though, I'm, I'm big on nuts. <laughs> no 
coffee in that one. Right, let me remember what this is called. Cookies and cream frap with hazelnut syrup. Right, I'm gonna have to remember that then because if it hasn't got coffee, I need to drink one like immediately. No, I don't like cheesecake either, it's horrid. You once made a Nutella miso. What's a miso? Tom said saying favourite ever loves nuts too. <laughs> Thriving on fresh ginger, ooh. My husband has like um, a mixture of spices every day and it really helps him. I think it's ginger, cayenne pepper and turmeric and then some black pepper, like all in one cup. I've recently discovered English biscuits and tea, whereas it's been hiding all my life. Yeah, oh my goodness. There's nothing better than dipping a biscuit in your tea. It's like a tiramisu with lots of Nutella in it. Oh, okay. Tiramisu's coffee though, isn't it? You are making me hungry, I'll switch to the TV to grab a snack. <laughs> I just had some soup and bread before I came on. That sounds like Oliver. I just had some soup and bread before I came on and a bit of Galaxy cookie crumble. And when I say a bit, I nearly ate the whole bar, so. <sighs> Become used to eat 25 grams of chocolate a day. It's really hard though. Unless it's an American biscuit. Well, you know, I didn't want to say, Emily. <laughs> I won't uh, offend any American viewers by saying that your chocolate is not very good. I won't, I won't do that. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was coffee. The tiramisu. Have you tried biscuit flavoured tea? I have, but it was just way too sweet for me. I don't really like a sweet tea. Um, I used to have two sugars in my tea and I could tolerate it, but now I can't. Okay, um, American biscuit is a savoury scone. Oh, of course, yeah, of course, we talked about that before. Thank you, Laura. I think I'm pretty much done with the blue at the minute. Um, let me think what I want to do now. We got all our colours out last time. If you remember, we had a couple of reds, a couple of greens, and then this kind of mustardy, mustardy colour. <laughs> and now I need to figure out the placement of everything. So I might do the flowers on the shoe with the reds, I think. So I'll get the reds out. The ones I've got are scarlet 044 and crimson 062. I might just zoom you in. A touch so that you can see me a bit closer yeah you've done dead well Barbara because and I think it is like the first few days are the hardest aren't they if you can push through that oh hi Kenny hi Brittany uh, okay so I'm gonna start with the crimson and just do a little bit inside this flower I'm trying to keep the blends looking how they look on the other side. So the way that I blended these flowers on the other side was just to put a little bit of the darker colour in the centre and then just come up through the middle a little bit like that. And then with the scarlet, I can just extend that a little bit. There's not an awful lot of difference between these two colours when you're blending them together. So I'm just wondering whether I need a third, a third shade. Let me see what I've got. Um, what about if I go with this one, Tangerine? It's 140 in the whole binds. I'll just sharpen it. Yep, 
Yeah, so I'll use this as a bit of a lighter tone. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara's put all the colours on the chat for everybody. So, everyone aside from Barbara, did you eat? Did you eat your own weight in chocolate um, <laughs> over Easter? It makes no difference to me because I'm always eating chocolate. But did you get a lot of Easter eggs, or don't you bother? <laughs> My kids are still young enough that they want an Easter egg, so. Ten-month-old twin grandchildren just had their first taste of chocolate. Oh, I bet they loved it, Jeanette. That'll be it now. <laughs> Claire, do you have a Derwent Ink Tense colour family chart? I think I do. Yeah, I think I've done a Derwent Ink Tense one. Yeah, I was getting mixed up then because I know that Barbara's done a Derwent one, but I think she did the Derwent Light Fast. I'm sure I've done an Ink Tense one. It will be on the, the Kofi link anyway, if you can find that on one of my previous videos. Easter baskets for the kids. Steer clear of the chocolate. Oh dear. I haven't got the willpower. <laughs> um, right. Let's just carry on because if I sit and chat too much, I'm just not going to do any colouring. Had some chocolate shortbread for Easter. Divine. Don't like shortbread, Laura. That's something that we differ on. I don't like that. Got my Easter egg at home from my dad when I get when I get baby. When I get I'll get back from my holiday. The kids have all had theirs. Thank you, Barbara. There's the chart for you. If you just put zero uh, pounds in the box, it will just be free. So it will allow, it will allow you to download the um, the file immediately didn't get any easter eggs so i went to town today looking to see if i could find a reduced lint bunny there was one but it's 450 how is that reduced use your ink tent on a chart very helpful because it's hard to tell the actual colors from barrels that's true that's very true the thing about lint chocolate is it's very sickly very quickly. Like I could eat a whole pack of Ferrero Rochers and it wouldn't bother me. I'd just keep eating them forever. But whereas anything lint, I can only have a bit before I start feeling ugh. What are we going to do next year? Apparently the cocoa bean harvest wasn't good. So the price of chocolate will go... Th no, it can't. This is my only love in life. <laughs> I hope to order some open stock luminance pencils to try not sure where from. Um, well, I know obviously you can get them from cult pens. I don't know what the price is on them. You can get them from Coloured Pencil Shop in the UK. Um, where else can you get them from? Artist Pencils Online, they do them. My husband got some fancy Easter chocolate from work. I ate it almost all. Good, good on you. I watched a video about you, Claire. Favourite foods, cheese and chocolate. Yeah, all the worst things. Like, you can't get worse, really. Yeah, court cool pens do ship worldwide. Thank you, Kenny. Um, art discount shop. I don't know if I've been on that one. The thing I like about court cool pens is that they allow you to pay in instalments and instalment pay is like my best friend <laughs> because it, it helps you just buy things that you want that's quite expensive and, and uh, don't feel too bad about it. She wants something she won't stop walking on my keyboard to her family.
I've heard that threat rumours on chocolate brows for years. Yeah, I don't I don't really care how much it costs. I, I'll sell a kidney or something. I, I'm getting my chocolate and that's it. £3.88 a pencil on art discount. That's not too bad. We will set a Claire chocolate fund. Yeah, I'm, I would never ever, I don't think I could ever set up like a GoFundMe for anything. Like I find it, it's just not something I would ever do. But, you know, if it comes to it and chocolate goes goes out the window and you can't afford it and stuff like that, I'll be straight on the GoFundMe. <laughs> because that's important. That's That's worth it. Did anyone see Johanna's short video on gold outline pens? Yes, I'm not sure what pen she used, but I thought that was really good. I'll tell you what else I want to try on the, this live as well. At least, I don't know if I will try it on live. It might I might do a video, actually. But you know, the thing that um, that Instagrammer, Fane, she's been doing, doing it quite a lot, and Suzanne Berry has done it as well, is a watercolour background and then colour everything in white lines. Um, you know, outline everything in white and then colour it with white pencil to shade. So it's just, it's this really super glowy sort of ethereal look. I would love to, to have a go at that. Yeah, Laura, sometimes you can be looking at well over £4 a pencil. So <laughs> anything cheaper than that. Honestly, crowdfunding chocolate is something I can get on board with. Me too. Like, I don't drink at all. I don't smoke much. I need some vice, surely. Of complimentary colours. Thank you, Emily. I thought these would look best. These colours on the flowers. I'm, I'm just trying to also match it up to the facing page that I did years ago. That's why I'm colouring these petals in this kind of strange way that I usually wouldn't colour them like this. I'd make them a bit more dynamic nowadays, but I'm just trying to emulate what I did then. So to tie both pages in together. Oh, bye Angela, thanks for joining. What's your perfect chocolate? Um, anything hazelnut, so Ferrero Rocher, Nutella, anything that tastes hazelnut like praline, anything like that. Can't beat a Ferrero Rocher. And when I say a Ferrero Rocher, I mean a tin of Ferrero Rocher is not, you know, just a singular one because you just can't have one. I think they were the Sakura paint pens I had some years ago. They're amazing. Hello. Um, Hi Kathleen, my um, country's clocks went forward last Saturday, it happens at a different time to America, so that's probably why it's uh, slightly different for you, but it will be this time, it's always going to be 7pm GMT, so whatever that equates to where you are, but it will be an hour ahead, I think, an hour ahead of what I've been doing it at so far. Do you like Ghislaine chocolates? Love them. The seashells, <gasps> love them. Reese's is my weakness. Never had a Reese's. Like they do have them over here, like in the American sections and stuff, but I've never actually tried them. <sighs> 
Yeah, they're gorgeous, Gina. Oh my goodness. Hi, Mandy. Chocolate and peanut butter. Hmm. I'm not a peanut butter person, but in chocolate form, it might be, it might be all right. I'll have to try one. I'll definitely try one. Gonna have to edit my alarm for your live. Yeah, sorry. I did try mention it um, on last live, but I got a bit confused at whether it would change for other people or not. Cause I'm, you know, I'm not that clever. <laughs> but um, it's just so silly. We were saying earlier about clocks going forward and backward and being different in different countries. It's, why can't they just simplify it and let's just keep times the same? quite sickly sweet yeah that's what worries me you see because I don't really like sickly chocolate I might outline these flowers in white as well with a white pen I don't know I haven't made up my mind yet I just wish Hershey's would put more peanut butter in their plant-based Reese's cup yeah, I haven't tried them. And I've heard that Hershey's chocolate is not very nice, but that could just be someone's opinion that I've heard. I've never tried it, so I can't really comment, but. Okay, thanks, Emily. Here that I've missed. Best time to try one is Easter or Christmas when they bring out the Reese's trees or Reese's eggs. Okay. Yeah, I can tell Zoe. <laughs> Hershey's chocolate is grainy and not quite as sweet. Hmm. I wonder if it's a bit like the plain chocolate that we used to have in the UK. Because normally you'd have milk, white and dark chocolate, but there was also a plain chocolate. And I'm just wondering if it tasted a bit like that. Okay, any more flowers? Yes, there's one here that I've missed. she tastes like soap oh no no it's a lot sweeter than plain okay I, I just need to try some I've got no aversion to trying it it's sweeter than our milk really oh I can see that I've missed a little bit of blue under this petal so I'll just fill that in with the indigo now, oh, I asked in last week's stream whether you thought that this bit here was part of the shoe or not. Um, and I think it is part of the shoe. I couldn't tell whether it was part of the tree or what, but I think it must be. So I'm going to use the indigo just to fill in the shaded parts of this. And a little bit of cobalt. This bit's kind of weird. I don't know why it's 
I don't know why it's like in a v-shape almost like it's slashed across the top of the shoe I haven't got a clue I'll just color it in <laughs> Wouldn't you love sometimes to be able to have the illustrators on the other end of the phone so that you could ask what certain things were because I see it in the groups all the time people saying what's this on this page and they circle something and people are trying to figure it out what it is wouldn't it be great if we had like a illustrator hotline where we could ask these questions Laura's still here stuffing your face with curry mmm I say mmm I don't like curry I don't know why I said that I don't like Indian food um I don't mind some Chinese food, but I am very traditional with my uh, my tastes. <clears throat> I love chocolate, but can't stand lint. Too sickly. Exactly, Zoe, I'm the same. It's funny, isn't it, what we can all tolerate? Right, I think that's all the flowers done. Um, let's see what one looks like with white outline around it. I don't know. What do we think? Your next picture should be a food picture. Yeah. <laughs> but then we talk about food even more. Poor Barbara, we're not helping her challenge of staying away from... That's really true, actually. I'm sorry, Barbara. <laughs> it depends what you did on the left page. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't do it on the left page, as you can see. So I might not, actually, because it looks kind of thick and weird. I'm a roast dinner girl. That would be death row meat. Exactly. Roast dinners. Mm. So I'm just going to scrape that white off with the... Um, what do you call this? A blender pencil, colourless blender. The thing about the Posca pen is it really, really sticks. Like you can't lift it off like you can with gel pens very easily. So it kind of looks a bit messed up, but I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Oh, hi, Gary. Thank you for joining. I find a dark purple difficult to get except in prisoners. Do you have a combo? Uh, a combo in, wh in which the um, hole binds, do you mean? Who can recommend? Yeah, can't beat a roast dinner with plenty of carrots and rotators. Okay, I've tried to like rectify that as much as I could, but. <clears throat> yes, the whole bind. Right, hang on a second. I will pull out my family chart and we can have a look at it together for purples. So, um, the darkest purple that's in the whole binds is called grape. This one here. Can you even see where I'm looking? Yeah, this one here. And I can't see any others that look as dark as that one. You've got the raisin, which is more of a red-violet colour, that kind of purplish tone. Whereas the grape is a little bit more bluish. So for combos, I would go either here or here. You've also got wisteria and pansy, but that, that's not dark dark if you're looking for something really dark then i would say grape is your darkest thank you barbara barbara's left the chart link for you hi claire you're the first colorist i followed on youtube when i discovered coloring your talents come so far thank you oh thank you so much Kristen. you've been here for a long time <laughs> let me zoom out slightly because i don't want to block anything okay um, what next 
So on the other side, I did the laces in a grey colour. So I might continue that over this side, but I'm not going to do that today. What I will do is colour the little hut that's on top of the shoe because I did that on the other side in the same kind of blend as I did the shoe. So it, it kind of fit, fit in. So I'll do this blue while we've got the blues out. That's, that's a hard question. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, I love every kind of biscuit, I think. <laughs> as long as it's not got fruit in it, like raisins or anything. So indigo blue on all the shaded bits. I won't do the windows because I'll do them in silver like the other side. love a rich tea yeah and a bourbon biscuit for me it's still a struggle against the year bad habits so i make it i believe in you barbara like you're such a strong lady i'm sure you could definitely overcome this <laughs> you've got the willpower that i don't have and of course you live in belgium and that's the home of belgian chocolate so like it was even harder for you have to eat Cow's milk and goat's milk free cookies if I want to eat cookies. Oh, that's a shame. But I wonder if there's like some good options as well. Digestive biscuits with Nutella. I don't like digestive biscuits. I'd, I wouldn't mind rich tea with Nutella. I've never tried that before. Walker's shortbread at Christmas. Let me grab a carrot snack. And a this is awful. We're like, <laughs> we're, um, we're tempting Barbara. Aldi's version of Hobnobs. I've never had them, Laura. I tell you what are nice, Aldi's version of like malted milk biscuits. And I don't normally like malted milk, but the Aldi ones dipped in tea are lovely. Yeah, I can imagine, Barbara, it must be torture. Trouble is with bourbons, I have to take the top off and eat that and the bottom piece with the cream on. I, would, I used to do that when I was a kid, but now the whole thing goes in because I'm not, I'm not messing when it comes to chocolate. I just want to eat it. <laughs> We used to take apart the Kit Kats as well. I used to eat all the chocolate around the edges, then the top, then the bottom, then you're left with the wafer in the middle. The local Publix I work at part-time as a front service clerk. It has a small section of British goods. It's mostly British tea and candies. Ooh. That's funny because we have like small areas of um, American stuff as well. And also different countries. We have like a Polish section. It's They're never very big. You know, it's just a, a small area. Polish sections, like Caribbean section, obviously Indian, Chinese. But some of the stuff from the Polish um, section are really nice. There was a Polish chocolate bar called, I think it was Gretschke or something like that, and it was lovely. It had like hazelnut flavouring in it. Love malted milk, reminds me of my nan. Yeah, these are like chocolate, chocolate covered malted milk. My nana gets packs and packs of them. And that's how I first got onto them. But with, with a cup of tea, they're absolutely divine. What are some like healthier things that we like? <laughs> I'm trying to think because I'm not a salad person. I don't know, I don't really eat very healthily. I should. But I suppose I do have a couple of, like, Sunday dinners. Well, I try to have a couple every week. And I've not been doing that recently, but I do love a Sunday dinner. I could eat them every single day. Polish cherry flavour Jaffa cakes. Ooh, I've not tried them. If you've got any other recommendations for, like, Polish section stuff, I really want to try it. Because I follow this lady on TikTok. She's Polish, but she lives in England. 
and she talks about all the different things you can get in Polish shop. And she makes it sound amazing. So I like I wanna I wanna try a lot more stuff and try and be a bit more diverse. Smoothie maker to eat more fruit. That might be a good um good idea actually. Because I think I could drink a smoothie more than I could eat loads of fruit, do you know what I mean? Everything in moderation. In I think I missed the memo on that. <laughs> Yes, whatever day it is, it's Sunday dinner and that's it. <laughs> kale, spinach and green apple. I don't think I've ever tried kale. Is it not very, very bitter? I know that some people put it in the oven and they make like really crispy kale chips. Maybe that could be something that I would like. There was a memo. Yeah, we missed it, Emma. We missed it. Veggies and hummus dip. I'm sure I tried hummus once and I really liked it. For some reason, I didn't buy it again. Is it not... Is hummus not really um, bad for you, though? Something something in hummus or something else I'm thinking of. Sometimes they look horrendous but taste delicious. As long as I close my eyes, it's fine. 50 grams of spinach, five pressed oranges, one banana, one spoon of honey. Mmm. Spinach and orange. Sunday roast and midweek roast, for sure, as long as I'm not cooking it. I always cook ours, so... But I don't mind, because it doesn't really take long. Um, carry on this bit of the house. I think that might have been a window actually, but hey ho. Hummus is supposed to be very good for you unless you eat low fat, it's high in fat. I think that's what I was thinking of actually, was the fat content. But it was really tasty though, so I could imagine it being able to eat lots of that. <laughs> Uh, no, these are Holbein coloured pencils, Amy. My favourite juice is beetroot and grapefruit. I've never, I've never tried that at all. I'm just thinking, grapefruit juice, is that not quite bitter? And then beetroot juice. Normally I have beetroot in pickled vinegar. So beetroot juice without it being pickled, I don't even know what that tastes like. Maybe probably quite earthy, I should imagine. Hummus can be healthy if made with chickpeas, extra virgin olive oil, tahini, lemon juice and garlic. Mm. Maybe it'd be a good idea to make your own hummus then, so that you know exactly what you're putting in it. So in love with your page already. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. I'm I'm hoping that it will be a good counterpart to the to the left hand side page that I've already done. Anyone watching from Australia? There's a Middle Eastern place near me that makes the best hummus I've ever had. 
I've only tried the supermarket hummus, so I bet there's some that's way better. When I made an exception on Easter Sunday and ate three chocolate eggs, I had an awful migraine with aura. Sure, it comes from chocolate. Do you know what, Barbara? That They say that chocolate is one of the biggest triggers of migraine, and I get migraine with aura. Um, it always starts off... like I don't, I've don't. i always said I don't know what triggers it, because it's happened at all different times, after I've eaten, not after I've eaten, like, all different times, but it starts off with a patch of blurriness in like my vision but it's it's up in my vision so it's like at the top of my vision and then that changes to the lights flashing zigzag lines and I can't speak properly like if I tried to read something like off a, the side of a box I couldn't I can't speak my, my mouth just won't form the words and then um that stops and then the pain starts do the Holbein pencils blend well or they're quite dry they do blend well they're not as good for blending, I would say is like Prismacolor because they're not as soft as Prismacolor, but they're not as hard as a properly oil-based pencil like Polychromos either. So they're kind of in between. They're sort of like a hybrid pencil, but they're not mushy like Prismacolor. Yeah, light flashing is middle of vision. It's like you're having a stroke, isn't it, Barbara? It's 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 quite scary when it first happens to you, but. Yeah, I've been noticing I've been getting a few more. Like, I've had three this year so far, and normally I would have one once a year or less, you know? So I don't know what's going on. Um, right. Let's do the indigo across here. I know, they, they are expensive pencils. It's quite prohibitive, really. I think if they brought the price down a bit, they'd sell a lot more. <sighs> yes, yeah, awful. I was talking to Angela and had to stop because I couldn't see what I wrote. Yeah, it's horrible. It really is. Someone said it can mean that you might be low in magnesium and they recommended putting a crystal of sea salt, like proper sea salt, on your tongue when you drink a glass of water. And apparently it replenishes all of the things like magnesium and stuff in your body. And if you just have a crystal of that with every glass of water that you have during the day, it's supposed to keep those levels up. Uh, do, 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 do. Mandy, you could also just buy a couple of them open stock just to see if they're the kind of pencils you like because I'd hate for you to spend or save up and spend a load of money on, on the whole set and you didn't like them. Yeah, they are sold singularly. You can get them on Jackson's Art. Uh, where else do them? I'm not sure. Save to get the prisoners, got the one, three, two, then purchase the rest open stock. Yeah, that's what I do now. I just purchase them when I'm running low on whichever colour it is. It's usually Tuscan red or chocolate. They seem to be very, very crumbly. Are they comparable to FC Polychromos? Yes, I, I would say so, because they do seem... Like, if we had Prismacolor Polychromos, I would put the whole binds in the middle, but slightly more towards the Polychromos, because they, they are harder. And you can build up layers with them, but they are, it's its very difficult to describe these pencils because they're, um, they're soft, but they're not soft. I don't know. It's really hard to describe. <laughs> now saving for Derwent. What, Derwent Light Fast? Hi Claire, gonna go now. Oh, thank you, Gina. Thank you for watching. It's been a bit of a scramble live tonight with everything that's happened. 
Hi, first time in a live and hello to everyone from the cold, windy northeast of England. Hello, Kay. I wonder if you're up near Newcastle area. That's northeast, isn't it? Just bought a few from Jackson's. Tuscan red crumbles. So I know that's the one colour I've always run out of. Yeah, it is interesting, Barbara, but is it accurate? <laughs> I know the whole band colour pencils sold through Blix here in the US are different formula to the one sold in Japan. Really? Have you heard that Derwent is coming out with 100 and 150 set? Yes, um, I think that came up during the week, actually. The Chroma Flow are coming out with 150 set, but only the 100 of them are going to be open stock, which is so weird, because what are you going to do after you run out of the, the other 50? You don't want to have to buy another 100 set. So it's just a bit stupid. Um... Looks at the light, fast and intense. I suppose it depends because they're so different, the light, fast and intense. Obviously, with the intense, it's all about adding the water. And then the light, fast is obviously if you want something incredibly light, fast. <laughs> but, and also you don't use water on them. So I suppose it's it's different. It, whatever you, uh, whatever you colour most, if you use water-based things or or not. These whole binds, they've got a kind of sticky feeling to them. I'm, I'm trying to think of ways to describe how they feel. And they feel a little bit sticky. Whether that's the wax in them, I don't know. But the best thing to do, as always, is to just get a couple open stock and try them for yourself. That's the best thing you can do because nobody on the planet can tell you if they're good or not because everyone's got different opinions on pencils hello robin nice to see you i'm on the coast between hartlepool and sunderland all right do you know um do you know seam seam beach that's where i like to go to collect sea glass Oh, bye, Kim. I've walked into a minefield. I've got a whole barn on my radar, but I see, see a lot of mixed feelings. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's exactly the same with any pencils. Like, I really don't like Pablo pencils, but that is such a controversial opinion. <laughs> I've had so many people school me on that. Like, you know, that I'm using them wrong. I'm using the wrong paper, which is probably correct, actually. But I just couldn't seem to get on with them whatsoever. I haven't tried the Artisto ones, no. Can you buy open stock in the UK? Of Holbein, yes, you can um, buy them from Jackson's Art in Easington. So yes, was there yesterday. Yeah, have you got any sea glass then, um, Kay? I've always wanted to find a really gorgeous piece of red or a really nice piece of blue, but I only end up with green and clear most of the time and brown. <laughs> And it's quite far from me. It's like a two and a half hour drive. So I can't go as often as I would like to. Pablo's or Supracolor? Again, they're two completely different pencils because Supracolor are water soluble and Pablo's, as far as I know, aren't. So if, you want, if you're wanting like a watercolor pencil, you'd go for the Supracolor. If you wanted a normal coloured pencil, it would be the Pablo's, but I thought you would come to turn with Pablo's. No, well, I've not tried them again since uh, Blue, so I think I've come to the term, terms with the fact that I was probably using them wrong, using the wrong paper, so it could have definitely been my fault that I didn't get on with them. But because I've not tried them again afterwards, um, I can't say that I've, my opinions changed on them. So, but I know so many people love them. But then again, I did get some people comment saying that they feel the same as me. So maybe it's just a small minority of us that don't like the Pablos. I don't know. Okay, right. So I've done that. Now I need to, I need to get a colour for the curtains. I think we'll go with the reds again. We'll keep the kind of shoe things red and blue. 
Which Derwent's work best for my colouring style? Pretty heavy handed, not usually patient. Um, I tell you what I love is the Derwent um, drawing. Are they the drawing pencils? Yeah, I think they only come in a small set. I think I might have them actually. Yeah, here they are. Derwent drawing pencils. They only come in a set of 24 and it's an absolute travesty because they are so, so soft. But I tell you what, the colours that they come in are really gorgeous. They're like earth tones. Look at all these colours. Proper rustic, nature, earthy tones. And they're so soft. Oh my goodness, so soft. Next page challenge, use the Pablo. I don't have any. I don't have any Pablos now unfortunately <laughs> to try uh can i ask what coloring book is that you are using i am coloring in worlds within worlds by kirby roseanne it's got the little monkey on top uh right okay so curtains So again, I'm just colouring in all the shaded bits first with the crimson. I don't need more pencils. <laughs> I'm not a fan of them either. Hi, Claire. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Which ones are we talking about? Are we talking about the uh, Artistro? Tell you what pencils really surprised me and that was the Amazon Basics pencils because I was not expecting anything out of them and I thought they were really good. I did a video where I compared them with I think Prismacolor and I did one side of the page Prisma, one side with the Amazon and there wasn't a lot in it at all. But I think they are cheaper in, on US Amazon than they are in the UK for some reason. April already. Uh, this year has gone so quick. I think every year goes quicker than the last one as you get older. What's the general thought on the Derwent Chroma Flow? I really love them. I think they're really good pencils. The only thing I wish that they had was a thicker barrel and a thicker core like the other Derwents because they, they always seem to have these nice thick barrels and thick cores but with the chroma flow they didn't they're very very light in the hand and um, i wish they were just a bit more robust let's say but i do love how they color they're very very smooth just glide on the page oh thank you barbara there's the link for my review Don't need me to tell you the clear, but your colouring is absolutely vivid. Thank you so much. Need to get the kids ready for school. Thank you so much for joining, Kristen. It's been great to chat to you. So there's the curtains. I think I'll also do these little thingies. <laughs> these thingies, I'll do them in red as well.
Just ordered the Amazon Basics last night. They're great. Thing. Yes. They are. They're really, really good. Like, I was not expecting them to feel like they felt. Yeah, the Chroma Flows. I really do like those pencils. I'm so happy that they're bringing them out in 150. I just don't see the logic in not making the 50 open stock. But maybe they'll change the stance on that because it just doesn't make sense to me at all. Hello, colour in view. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Um, I want to try some different colours on this because I'm getting a bit bored of the same colours. <laughs> Let's see, where can I put some of the green or the mustard? Why don't we work on... Um, why don't we work on this kind of building down here? just for something different. And then I can go back in and add all the little details in with whatever colours I see fit then. Chroma Flow are too thin. The shades aren't as vibrant as I wish and the blending is more or less okay, but not my fave. Yeah, I, I, do, I definitely think they're too thin. I don't like how light they are and how delicate they feel. Yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't make the 150 all of them open stock because you don't want to have to buy another set to replace a pencil once it's gone down. I think anybody that doesn't do open stock, it's kind of, it's silly really that they would expect you to buy a whole new set. I'm going to do some green on this banner. I've decided. So I've got the Sap Green 262 and the Apple Green 251. Chroma flows were thinner and lighter than the other day. I went to be cheaper in price. Yeah, I think that was the um, the point of that, wasn't it? So that they could make a cheaper range that was a bit more. Um, but did they not try and make them a bit more like Prismacolor? I can't remember now. I've, I've reviewed them and I knew all of this, but it's gone out of my head. But I'm sure they wanted to make like a UK's answer to Prismacolor, but I wouldn't call them that because. They're not as soft and buttery, but I like how smooth they are and I like the colours. Yeah, I do like them. So at the moment, I'm just putting bits of green on this banner with no real plan of where I'm going to put them. I'm just colouring random bits. Oh, thank you so much for watching, Robin. I think I'll try and do a colour on with you on this sneaker. Oh, I love that. I'd absolutely love that. So this colour, apple green, it's almost like a, a lime green.
I'm colouring the Jaguar in Fragile World. I've put two pencil strokes since the beginning of this live stream. <laughs> That's because you're just keeping up with the comments and putting all the links and everything. You're just so, like, helpful and you're not getting your own work done. <laughs> That's going to look amazing though, the Jaguar, when you finished it. I don't know what kind of magic Barbara has, but her pages are just mind-blowingly good. Claire, would you describe the pressure you're using as a medium pressure? Yes. Yeah, I'm not using hard pressure. I'm just adding in a few more darker green layers on bits of this banner. And as you can probably see, I don't know if I'm too far up now. I've um, I've just randomly put splodges of the darker green on the banner and filled the rest in with the, the lighter green and left a few areas of white. I think I'm just trying to create a little bit of interest on the banner so that it's not just block coloured. Intended to start something new, my colouring book still in the pile next to me. <laughs> Love all shades of green and blue. Yeah. I almost went for parrot green nails today because parrot green is my favourite Prisma colour and I found the perfect colour in the box of nails um, f at the nail bar. I almost did it and then I found this black one with sparkles and I just love it. Can you see the sparkles? It's kind of almost galaxy. You colour while chatting like if you don't pay attention to what you do and it turns out gorgeous. I know, I, I always find it really difficult to colour and chat at the same time though, but I guess I'm just kind of mindlessly doing the colouring <laughs> and thinking of what to say on the chat and it's working somehow. Um, let me just, I've lost a bit there where I didn't colour it in this bit. And I missed a bit of the petal as well. So I'll colour that in. Um, okay, so that's the banner. I think probably I should do this as well in this in the same kind of colours. I might even use a little bit of this cream colour as a lighter shade of the apple green. Let's have a look how that works. I wonder if I can try and make this look like a neon sign somehow <laughs> if we go really dark at the edges This pencil don't like that spark everything. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Can you believe this must be your fourth live stream now? It's becoming a nice weekly chat. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you're enjoying it because I always think every, every time I turn the live stream off, I'm like, oh no, did I sound stupid? <laughs> but um, I'm really, really glad that everyone's enjoying it. There is a, um, a range of neon pencils in the whole bind. Yeah, I might use the neon yellow in the centre to create that number. That's Luminous Lemon number 740. So I might try a bit of this in the centre and see if it looks a bit neony. Neony is a new word. <laughs> I've just made it up. It'll be in the dictionary next year. It's not quite as neon as I thought it would get, it was going to be, but OK, 
can you believe yeah i've read that bit <laughs> they're the best pencils in the world for artists most of us not you lot are in another league do not know how to get the best out of pencils or need them to be archival even though i'm not doing much coloring i'll still tune in i'm glad you're back on live oh thank you <laughs> Rubbish with social media and working, but can anyone tell me how to look at someone's colourings from chat, please? I'm curious to see Barbara Colour. Oh my gosh, go to Instagram and type in Barbara Colour and you will see. Oh, okay. She's incredible. It's because you're natural yourself, not trying to pretend to be anything else. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. It's not in me to put a a different kind of personality on. I just I couldn't maintain it. I'm just, uh, just me and that's that. Yeah, it's not as luminous as I thought it was going to be, this luminous lemon. Oh, ink tents are so, I, I, I'm scared of ink tents. Like, <laughs> I need to practice more with ink tents because it seems every time I use them, it looks really washed out. And for some reason, I, I, just, I just don't, um, I don't seem to get the best out of them. Claire, your nails are in style for the solar eclipse. Yeah, true. I didn't even think about that. Uh, so we've got some green on there anyway. How about we colour the the frame, the door frame in these mustard and cream tones. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. Yeah, you'll you'll be blown away, I'm telling you now. Like Barbara's just finished a page of Leon the Chameleon and it's just knock your socks off so vibrant so blended and just gorgeous on ink tents i use a blending alcohol marker instead of water i've heard about that actually i've heard about that working i'm not sure as if i've tried it i must have done i must have tried it you know once i've done something it goes out my head to make way for the next thing like i don't have the capacity to retain information it's just right i've said it i've learned it now it's gone <laughs> Leon the chameleon who loved Michael Jackson. <laughs> A little bit here. Oh, that just snapped. It always scares me when a pencil snaps up. <laughs> just get that fright. There's not a great deal of difference between the mustard and the cream, to be honest. I don't know whether there's enough difference to give the contrast that I want. Ink tents can be layered, new colours added over others without blending, like wet paint on dry. Yeah, that I know that because they're permanent, aren't they, when they're dry? It's a lot nicer than using water on the ink tents. I much prefer the alcohol marker blending. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I'm sure I have tried it, but I'm going to try it again. Um... Does the alcohol marker blending make ink tents bleed through? Good question. I managed to pre-order Emily's book, but not from Amazon. It wouldn't deliver to my address. How strange. Do you normally get things from Amazon and um, 
there's no problem with shipping to your address because that's really weird. I don't know why why it wouldn't do that. I'm so excited for Emily's book. Oh my goodness, I've seen the um, like draft PDF. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for you all to see it. I think the release date is October sometime. I think I should know this. Um, let's see what I want to do here. Let's put a bit of this mustard under the sign. Did everyone see the little green frog that I coloured last night and I made it into like a step-by-step -step pictorial um, tutorial? I really enjoyed doing that. That was from Emily Emily's first book, Fairy Tales. That's just a bit of colouring that I'm doing in my spare time. But I thought I'd take pictures of the process so that I could post it and you could follow along with the photographs and see what where I'd put all the colours. Frenchie the Froggy. I don't know who Frenchie the Froggy is. Thank you, Mandy. Where did it post it? I posted it on my Facebook page, on my YouTube community tab and on Instagram as well. <laughs> I told you you'd love it. Claire, I didn't see it is easy enough for you to show me and others. I didn't see it. Is it easy enough for you to show me and others? Oh, um, the frog, sorry, yeah. Uh, yes, I did it in, I think, seven photographs so I did it step by step I colored one thing and then I took a photo I colored the next thing took a photo and then I listed all of the colors and steps underneath as well I can show it to you now if you want nearly time to finish the live that's gone quick probably because i messed about for 20 minutes trying to actually connect but that's youtube's fault and not mine and i'm sticking to it oh thank you barbara there's the frog <laughs> can you show me the next lightest holbein to cream I can. Okie doke. So here's all the lightest ones. Um, no, it's not. Where's the cream? Where's cream, cream, cream? Cream. There's cream on the colour family chart. And then I guess ivory is a good one that's, that's a much lighter than cream. I think that's probably the only option actually when we're looking at colour families ivory is a bit like um a sort of a desaturated cream colour but the ones over here in the yellows they will be too yellow so I would say ivory is the one that you want hopefully you can see the difference spiral of life pick was amazing it's here where is it? I've got the book underneath me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. You can't see much of it, but yeah. I've got quite a few books to um, to review, actually. I've got 
got the Exotica book to review. Let me zoom you out now for a bit. Got the Exotica book to review. I've got Carolina Kubikowska's Memories Postcards colouring book. And also by Carolina, the Circle of Nature. And the newest one, which is Rising. So I've got quite a few books. I've also got Luna. Let me go and get that one to show you. Here's Luna, I'm going to show you that one. And then, this is the one that I was colouring last night with the frog. Here he is. <laughs> See, I want to colour them all so that they look nice and quilted. That's the kind of look I'm going for. Nice and soft and quilted. So that's the first Emily book. Then I've got Luna that I need to review. Oh, that's the one I coloured that one. And then rising. Have I coloured anything in this yet? I'm sure I have. Oh, I have. But I've not finished it. I coloured that, but I've not finished it yet. That's a really gorgeous, thick, hardback book. And then we've got Circle of Nature. And in this one, I coloured this and I did it to try and emulate the colours that were on the original. Because in this book, at the very beginning, you do get some options of the original. So these are like the original paintings. And then I tried to colour this very, very similarly. So yeah, I've got that one to review. Got the memories postcards. I haven't started those yet. And then of course, Exotica, you will have seen this one. And this gorgeous red paint that is so opaque and bright is of course, the Lefranc Bourgeois Flash Emulsion. I ended up getting, after I got the black and loved it, I ended up getting the white, the red, the blue, and the yellow, because I thought I can mix these, hopefully, to make more colours. So I've got white and black, and then three primary colours. Let me just catch up. I think I'm gonna find this book in my stash, try to get back into colouring. Yes, do. Boat in the Stormy Sea. I know I love colouring that one. Blue dress is stunning, thank you. We need a tutorial on that shiny dress. <laughs> Recognise the paint, yes. Love copy colouring, yeah, me too. Rising came before, so Circle of Nature is the news. Oh, okay, so I'm just mixed up then. <laughs> Yeah, the Le Franc Bourgeois, I'm like obsessed with them now, but they have about 70 something colours, so <sighs> there's no way I can get them all. <laughs> we don't pronounce the C of Le Franc. Oh, so it's Le Franc, Le Franc Bourgeois, Le Franc Bourgeois. <laughs> yeah, so that's all the books that I've got on the pile to um, review at the moment. And we've come, we're coming to the end of the live. Yeah, there's about 70 something colours. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. And there's no way I can afford them, but I want them. <laughs> so. So yeah, I've had, a, I've had a good time once we've kind of calmed down after the initial problems getting live. I hope you've all enjoyed it as well. The paint, yeah, the paint that I coloured um, this one with no not this one I'm in the wrong book <laughs> this one and like I could not believe how gorgeous this laid down I mean it's beautiful and look how opaque it is and it's matte and it's just stunning I absolutely love it but unfortunately it's too expensive to get every single colour <laughs> No problem, Emily. Thank you for joining and helping out at the start there with all the problems. All these years, the colouring community has been looking for smooth background. The flash paint was here all along. I know. <laughs> Spiral of life is... The paper is really thick, I know. Um, it come, it, The paper actually came in like a block inside the cover. So the cover was separate to the paper. So I'd like glued the back page of the paper block into the 
cover so now it's like a proper book but it's been a great stream hopefully I'll do a wee bit of colouring before next week I discovered more new books and paint <laughs> no it's terrible it's been so delightful thank you Claire thank you so much um just a quick thank you for the blending video you posted a while ago I think I finally cracked it and a big thank you for all the free charts brilliant I'm so so happy that you find in the charts useful um yeah thank you Cheryl thank you Pierre it's a black matte paint discovered a year ago making them part yeah it is oh my gosh this is the black one and it's like it's so nice to actually paint with as well it's super super smooth and after I, oh it's all over me now and after I used the black 3.0 it was just like a breath of fresh air so now I'm covered in paint but that's okay <laughs> Well, thank you, Carol. Thank you, everybody, for joining. So we're now at 9pm. So I'm going to close for this week and just thank you for bearing with me at the beginning of the stream when it was all going wrong. <laughs> but we got there in the end and I will be back here again next Tuesday to carry on our sneaker. I don't feel like we've got too much done tonight. I feel like I've done a lot of little things, but it's not made a huge impact on the page overall. But we'll get there, even if it takes another six weeks. <laughs> we'll get there, we'll finish it. So, yes, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a lovely week to come and I'll see you next uh, next week on Tuesday, 7pm GMT, whatever time that is in your country. So, yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.